I was 18 years old. I was a freshman in college. I was not in a very healthy relationship, and that led me to an unplanned pregnancy. I remember going to CVS and like buying a pregnancy test and thinking, let me buy like nail polish and snacks, anything else so it doesn't make it look so obvious that I was buying a pregnancy test. <laughs> the combination of fear and pressure from some people that were close to me that I decided to have an abortion. Um, my mother actually was with me, took me to the abortion clinic. I remember the ride home from the abortion clinic. I remember it was, it was quiet. I came home, I called my dad, I told him what I had done. Uh, my dad and I's relationship for years after that was probably very strained. I grew up in the church. My dad was very firm on his beliefs on abortion. And honestly, if you would have asked me a week before I found out I was pregnant, if I would ever have an abortion, I would have said no. I went back to college and I met somebody and a few months later I found out I was pregnant again. And at that time, I didn't consider anything else other than abortion, honestly. You know, I think when people talk about abortion, they think that it's an easy fix. But for me, it was so far from that. All of those things for years probably flashed back in my mind. But it was supposed to be done and over with, and I was just supposed to get on with my life. I think it took several years um, for me to kind of come out of that, that fall. I grew up in the church. I knew about Jesus. I knew about forgiveness. But I think when you experience something like abortion, it's really hard to think that that applies to you. A few months after that, I found out I was pregnant again. I chose life, and that's Camden. He's now 10 years old, almost 11. This is Nicholas, and he is my second son. Once I found that healing and I was able to love myself, and I was able to see Christ's love for me, and then see how I love my children, and I could see Wow, like I cannot imagine how much I love my child and Jesus loves me. Like, you know, I can't even fathom. It's, to me, I think that really helped me become a better mom. Um, and I realized that these children, I don't want to cry. <laughs> um, they're blessings. You know, they changed my life. where I reflect on the decisions that I made when I had to abortion the children that I aborted and think about the blessings that they could have been to my life. I think about how much love I have in my heart for my two boys. And I can't imagine how I would feel with two more children. Um, and then I look at them at the same time and think, I made this decision to abort something as precious as you. Um, I would have identified as a Christian, but now that I know the truth of the gospel, I know that I wasn't. Because I kept searching for a bottle of wine or a boyfriend or whoever it was to fill this void that was inside my heart that ultimately was only filled by Christ. And when I did that and I completely gave my life back over to Christ, this is when I saw that healing and that restoration in my heart. It made me a better mother, made me a better friend, a better daughter. My relationship with my father was able to, to heal. The relationship with those that I had hurt in the process of having an abortion was able to be restored. Um, forgiveness for myself, forgiveness for the people who walked out on me. You know, and there's people that I still don't have a relationship with, but I've been able to forgive them because I know that I've been forgiven. Um, and just knowing that I'm loved, that's the biggest thing, because I felt so ashamed and so guilty for what I had done. But I know that I don't have to feel that way anymore. I think that we should be running to the women that are hurting. We should run to the abortion clinics with our arms wide open and say, you're not alone. You don't have to be afraid. You are loved. There are resources in the community that can help you. We're not here to judge you. We want to love you. You know, we've all, we've all made mistakes. 
but fortunately we are not defined by those mistakes and we can be forgiven and we can find healing through Christ. If you are considering an abortion or if you know somebody that is considering abortion, know that you're loved first. Know that there are people that want to help you. There are resources all throughout your community. There are crisis pregnancy centers that are there waiting for you with open arms, just waiting for you to call or walk in the door so that they can help you. They want to empower you to make the best decision for yourself, for this baby, and equip you so that you're successful on this adventure. And that's exactly what motherhood is. It's a blessing and it's an adventure and they want to walk with you through that journey.